What if we told you that America's plans to counter China's influence in the Indo-Pacific region just got destroyed by Australia? How did this happen? What does this mean for the US and the world? And what can the US do to stop this? Come, let's find out more about this exciting topic. Australia and China are two countries that have different political systems, values, and interests. However, in recent years, they've developed a close economic relationship, as China is Australia's largest trading partner and has invested in many Australian industries. This relationship has been challenged by the growing rivalry between China and the United States, which is Australia's most important security ally and a leader of the democratic world. The United States and China have been competing for influence and power in the Asian Pacific region and beyond, and they have different visions for the future of the international order. The United States wants to preserve its leadership and promote a rules-based system that respects human rights, democracy, and the rule of law. China wants to assert its sovereignty and interests and challenge the US-led system that it sees as unfair and hegemonic. The US-China rivalry has intensified in recent years, as they have clashed over issues such as trade, technology, human rights, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Xinjiang, the South China Sea, and the COVID-19 pandemic. Australia has been caught in the middle of this rivalry, as it has to balance its economic interests with China and its security interests with the United States. Australia has tried to maintain a constructive relationship with both countries, but it's also faced pressure and criticism from both sides. China has accused Australia of being a lackey of the United States and has imposed various trade sanctions and diplomatic measures against Australia, such as banning some Australian exports, launching investigations into Australian products, suspending some dialogues and cooperation, and spreading disinformation and propaganda against Australia. The United States has urged Australia to stand up to China and join its effort to counter China's influence and actions, such as imposing tariffs, sanctions, bans, and restrictions on Chinese entities, strengthening military presence and alliances in the region, and supporting the rights and freedoms of the people of Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Zhejiang. The question is, what if Australia and China decided to come together and resolve their differences? And what would that mean for the United States and its strategic position in the region and the world? This scenario may seem unlikely, given the current state of affairs, but it's not impossible, as some factors could motivate both countries to seek a rapprochement. For Australia, the main factor is the economic cost and impact of the trade war with China, which has hurt many Australian industries, such as agriculture, mining, tourism, education, and wine. Australia relies heavily on China as its main export market, and losing access to it could damage its economic growth and recovery, especially after the COVID-19 crisis. For China, the main factor is the strategic benefit and opportunity of winning over Australia as a partner rather than an adversary in the region. China knows Australia is a key ally of the United States, and that weakening or breaking this alliance could undermine the US-led system and enhance China's position and influence in the region and the world. Therefore, it is possible that Australia and China could reach a compromise and agreement that would restore and improve their bilateral relationship and reduce the tension and conflict between them. This could involve some concessions and gestures from both sides. Here are some examples. Australia acknowledges China's legitimate interests and concerns and respects China's sovereignty and territorial integrity, especially on issues such as Taiwan, Hong Kong, Zhejiang, and the South China Sea. Australia will refuse to join or support the US-led actions and initiatives that target or challenge China, such as the Quad, the AUKUS, the Indo-Pacific Strategy, the Human Rights and Democracy Act, and the Strategic Competition Act. Australia diversifies its trade and investment partners and reduces its dependence on China while also ensuring that its economic policies and practices are fair and transparent, and do not discriminate against Chinese entities, lifting the trade blocks and sanctions against Australia and resuming normal trade and cooperation, while also ensuring that its economic policies and practices are fair and transparent, and do not coerce or pressure Australia. China respects Australia's legitimate interests and concerns and refrains from interfering in Australia's internal affairs, such as its political system, values and institutions, and its relationships with other countries, and they engage in dialogue and consultation with Australia on regional and global issues of common interest, such as climate change, pandemic response, development, security, and governance. If Australia and China were to come together in this way, it would be a strategic defeat for the United States, as it would lose one of its most reliable and important allies in the region and in the world. It would also weaken the US-led system and its credibility and legitimacy, as it would show that China can successfully persuade and influence other countries to align with its interests and vision, and that the US cannot protect and defend its allies and partners from China's persuasion and coercion. It would also reduce the US's leverage and options to counter and contain China's rise and actions, as it would have fewer allies and partners to cooperate and coordinate with, and it would face more resistance and opposition from China and its allies and partners. 
It would also increase the risk and possibility of a military conflict or confrontation between the US and China, as they would have less trust and dialogue and more competition and hostility over the issues that divide them. Australia and China coming together and strategic defeat for the US is a scenario that could happen. But it's not very likely, as many obstacles and challenges prevent both countries from reaching such a compromise and agreement. However, it's also a scenario that should be considered and prepared for, as it would have significant implications and consequences for the US and its interests and role in the region and in the world. America is worried about the growing relationship between Australia and China, as it sees China as a rival and a threat to its interests and values in the Asia-Pacific region and in the world. America wants to keep Australia as a close ally and a partner, and to prevent China from gaining more influence and power in the region. Therefore, America has a grand plan for resisting the Australia-China relationship, which involves four main elements. America is strengthening its military ties and cooperation with Australia, as well as other allies and partners in the region, such as Japan, India, the UK and France. America is providing Australia with advanced weapons and technology, such as nuclear power submarines, guided missiles, cyber capabilities and space systems, to help Australia defend itself and deter China from aggression. America is also increasing its military presence and exercises in the region, and supporting Australia's participation in regional security initiatives, such as the Quad, the York US, and the Indo-Pacific Strategy. America is supporting Australia's economic recovery and resilience, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic and the trade war with China. America is offering Australia more trade and investment opportunities, such as the US-Australia Free Trade Agreement, the US-Australia Critical Mineral Partnership, and the US-Australia Infrastructure Financing Partnership. America is also encouraging Australia to diversify its economic partners and markets and to reduce its dependence on China, especially in areas such as energy, minerals, agriculture, tourism, and education. America is promoting its values and principles such as democracy, human rights, rule of law, and freedom in the region and the world, and contrasting them with China's authoritarianism, repression, corruption, and coercion. America is calling out China's violations and abuses of human rights and international norms, such as in Taiwan, Hong Kong, Zhejiang, Tibet, and the South China Sea, and imposing sanctions, bans, and restrictions on Chinese entities and individuals involved in these issues. America is also supporting the rights and freedoms of people in these places and providing them with humanitarian, diplomatic, and moral assistance. Australia is a member of the Quad Countries. They are four countries that have security dialogue to discuss and cooperate on issues in the Indo-Pacific region. The four countries are the United States, Australia, India, and Japan. They are also known as the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue, or the Quad. The Quad was revived in 2017 after a gap of 10 years because of the growing rivalry and tension between China and the US, and the need to protect the freedoms and stability of the region. You won't believe what Australia just did to the US. They betrayed their longtime ally and sided with China, the biggest rival and threat to the US. How did this happen, and what are the consequences? Comment your thoughts on this, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.